C8P, back at you with another video. And in today's video, I am just checking in with y'all guys. I am, it is a beautiful day in Chicago. It says it's about 76 degrees. It's gonna get up to about 79. Um, not a lot of wind. It is an absolutely beautiful, beautiful day in Chicago today, I must tell you. And I'm just talking about the CA Corvette. So I've owned this car since 420 of 2021. And I am still having a good time driving this car. Just checking out the beautiful insides. Lately, yes, I've been looking at a lot of um, Lamborghini Huracan Evos. I've been looking at a ton of them and just trying to figure it out. A lot of what I'm seeing is 21s and 22s um, and they're going for 2021s and 2022s, Lamborghini Huracan Evos, and they're going for like mm, low end, 230, high end, I don't know, 250. You know, I see some that I could get. I'm sure I could talk them down a little bit. But when I get in the Corvette, I'm like, is it even worth it to get it? Like, look at everything that I get inside this car. Um, I haven't even, this is a 2021 and I have not hit. I don't know if you can see it over there. I am 38 miles away from 10,000 miles on this car. Um, I love driving the car. I still like the rear view. You know, mirror, the camera mirror. Uh, I like everything about the car still. I even, the steering wheel finally grew on me. I really do like the steering wheel. I like the quality interior. My interior is still absolutely perfect. So with that being said, it just the quality of everything in the car. I don't have any complaints about the inside of the car. I have absolutely no issues. Um, the sound system is absolutely amazing in the car. When I cut my sounds up and get this thing rocking, this thing sounds absolutely amazing with this bold sound system in here. Um, I like, you know, the map looks pretty good on the nav. Really nice car. I think this car is gonna age out well unless they just come out with some other types of crazy technology but i think this car is going to age out well and still be definitely in style uh six six years from now in 2030 i think this car will still be in style and not dated the technology will still be fine i don't even know if you can see the uh heads up display in the windshield but very nice options on this car overall Get in the comment section. Let me know what you think about your Corvette and if you think it's going to age out well. Um, I'm definitely probably going to get the C9 when it comes out if I stay with Corvette, but I am really looking at some Lamborghinis. I know the maintenance cost is going to be a little bit more than a Corvette, but if you if, get in the comment section right now, if you could decide between if you can get a C8 Corvette or a Lamborghini Huracan Evo. Take the price, like price, no option. I'm just talking about car to car. Which one would you want? Would you like the Corvette? Which is, I haven't done any maintenance on this thing basically in three years, except for I have done, I think two oil changes so far, two or three. Other than that, I've done not done anything else. The car never breaks down and never has an issue. Yes, I get it. You guys are gonna say, well, it shouldn't. It only has 10,000 miles on it. I agree with you, but still, I know some people that have brand new cars and all types of things happen with those cars all the time. One of the things I love about this one is just the Z button. I love that Z button. When that comes on and everything changes up, man, that thing just, it just violently roars. And I love that about the car. Um, now I do know on some of the new ones, the screen up here looks a little different as far as like when the car first comes on, this looks a little different. Cause like when I change modes in this, this will come up like this, just trying to show me how my car is set up in that particular mode. And I know it's different on some of the um, newer ones. So I have thought about going to go get the Z6 or Z06 or going to go get the ZR1. I don't think I need 
either one of those. I really do like the Stingray. I've also thought about, I have the coupe. I don't have the uh, convertible. So I've, all, I've also thought about that too. Like, man, do I stick with the, you know, next time around when I order a C9, do I go with the convertible this time and get the nacelles painted in black? There are so many things that you can look at on these cars. This wall even grew on me. I, actually, I'm not gonna say it grew on me. I never had a problem with it in the first place. So like, I don't know. I mean, when I'm driving this, I feel like I am in a cockpit. I do like the way everything is just laid out for me as the driver and it's easy for me to just, you know, drive this thing and have fun. I do feel like I'm in something special. I still get a bunch of looks from different people and, and thumbs up and so on and so forth. Um, I want to get back to trying to do some more Corvette con um, content, but I live in Chicago. So in Chicago, our weather is just... I'm only gonna get maybe maybe four months of decent content if I'm gonna do it. But get in the comment section. Do you guys think that I should just go ahead, trade this thing in, and get me like a 2022 Lamborghini Huracan Evo? Because again, that's the way that I'm leaning. Or should I just keep my Corvette and just wait and just stay a Corvette guy and just wait and get the C9? Who knows what the C9 even looks like. If it comes out and it doesn't look like anything, I'll probably just switch over to the Lamborghini anyway, or I'd be happy to keep this one. My kids love it. I can't say that I hate it. I do you know, like it overall, but it's just like, we get spoiled in general. I remember when this car first came out, I could not wait to get this car. I thought this car was the cat's meow, right? I thought it was the greatest thing since sliced bread. And then now that I have it after a couple of years, I don't feel like I appreciate it all the way. Um, I still, you know, when I walk out to the car, I uh, hit the garage button and I see the car, whatever, with the cover on and I take it off. I mean, I get a little excitement, but not like when I first got it or before I got it. Now it's like I get mad every time I see one just driving down the street. I'm just all pissy or whatever. right? And I have no idea why I act like that, but I do. Um, but I get pissed off when I see another one driving down the street because I still remember in 2021 when there weren't a lot in Illinois and I was one of the only ones that had it. And like now, um, if I'm driving around during the summertime and I go from the suburbs to the city of Chicago, I'll probably see four of them or five of them, right? If I'm riding around all day or something before I might ride around all day in 2021 and mine was the only one that I saw. So, you know, it's that uniqueness of it. And the Lamborghini, I feel like when I ride around, like yesterday, I was riding around all day in this thing, right? I saw some C8 Corvettes. So total, if I was riding around for six hours yesterday, I probably saw like, again, about five C8 Corvettes. Which is crazy is out of the five that I saw, I saw four of them in rapid blue. Four of the ones I saw were in rapid blue. In comparison, Lamborghinis, I only saw two Lamborghinis yesterday, right? And those two Lamborghinis were together downtown. They were like fooling around, racing each other or whatever they were doing, a green one and like a, a, a gray one. So I don't know. I think I want that. I want that experience of just that uniqueness of, I, you know, everybody can't get the Lamborghini, but I also do like the car. So I like the uniqueness and I like the actual car. I feel like if everybody can go get the Corvette, then it's not as unique. Get in the comment section and let me know what you think about that. Um, and don't forget, hit that subscribe button for me right now. Uh, I'm not gonna prolong this video, but I just wanted to tap in with you guys, my Corvette fans that um, subscribed to the channel a few years ago before I started making all that Can-Am, Riker, and Spider content. I just wanted to tap into my Corvette fans and just let them know what I got going on with the Corvette. I still have it. I occasionally drive it, but I am definitely thinking about switching over to the Lamborghini. Hit that subscribe button for me. Until next time, my friends, C.A. Pate out.